think that the main interesting thing for people is to know about our story, about the human family story, because all the people have interest for the story. So I think that it's probably the main interesting thing for them and for us. We are primate, <laughs> so uh, at a Puerca, uh, some kind of ancestor. In Atapuerca, you have fossil human who are about a little bit more than one million years old. So it's already a lot, but of course, in our story, the main thing is that the cradle of mankind is Africa. We are all African, all. And how old are we? To my, which is for this time, the earliest pre-human known is seven million years old. So our story is at least, at least, maybe more, seven million. And Africa was probably a good cradle for us because we stay a very, very long time in Africa, at least five million. Five million, we spend five million in Africa. And for this time, the earliest human we know out of Africa is dated at 1.8 in Dmanisi, Georgia. So it means that we spend five million of our story in Africa. Also, it means that all of us, we are migrant, migrant from Africa. It's just our scientific story. When I tell you that when we arrived from Africa, we were black, you. Ah. Ah, I can tell you one thing. You, you, me, we are white people, and the color of our skin is due to, the, to a pigment whose name is melanin. And melanin is produced by a special cell whose name is melanocyte, okay? So you can think when you have a black people and when you have a white people, that the black people has a lot of melanocyte and that we have less melanocyte. It's quite easy. You just take a piece of your skin, white one, and a piece of the skin, black one, and you look about the, man, the melanocyte. And you have exactly the same, the same number. No difference. The difference is the repetition of the melanin, of the pigment. In one case, the melanin is uh, with small spot. And in the other case, the melanin is all over. It's just a matter of repetition. Just, just that. You imagine, you imagine, it's crazy. I think that at the moment, we have to be very careful with all that we are doing 
because it's clear the climate is more and more hot and the air <laughs> there is a lot of pollution <laughs> a lot so I think that we have to stop at least to reduce and it's necessary to do that it's absolutely necessary and uh, just <laughs> to remember that one president the last president of US say America first yeah. I shall answer our planet first.